Our favorite thing is for him to read to me while I sew. Yeah, it's one of our most common activities that we do. We go cycling, we go hiking. We like to go out and do a bunch of the, the activities sort of about the natural world that were very popular then were fossil hunting and- That and one's really fun. That one's really fun. I've certainly studied a lot of other history, but none of it really speaks to us, especially as, as the way we want to live, like the 1880s and 90s. We've always had an interest in the period. The dressing came later. At first it was just that, it was a shared interest. It started six years ago when he gave me my first corset for my birthday. And it's really and started full time since we moved into this house five years ago. Yeah, and it's been really gradual, just bit by bit. It was a really dynamic time. There were so many things just coming into being that have truly shaped our modern world. And so the best thing to do, as far as we're concerned, is to try to bring the elements that we like about the past into our daily lives now. Well, no, it's not about taking history a la carte. No, we're definitely trying to study it and understand the past as well. This is about getting a deeper perspective on all the things that already interest us. Mm -hmm. And who doesn't want to do that? I didn't anticipate so much of the negative reactions. I don't know why there's such an objection to living some of these things and trying to learn from them that way compared to just studying them in books. Sarah especially has that more frequently yeah. than I do. Somehow by wearing a corset, she is oppressing other women. Yeah, I've had um, women storm up to me and get inches from my face and be screaming at me that I'm somehow oppressing them when I was minding my own business. They are the baby boomer generation almost exclusively. <laughs> Those are the ones I get the most grief from. Some people believe, based on some of the headlines that have been out there, that we're trying to live exactly like in the 1880s and 90s. Well, Actually, we more than anyone else know that that's impossible. You know, we do use elements of modern technology. We're not trying to pretend, we're trying to be ourselves. It's important that people understand that we don't have control over what other people say about us. We try to avoid engaging with a lot of the, the negative ones on the internet just because I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Uh, it's, we're not going to help convince people or change their minds. Mm -hmm. but if we try to sit there and correct everyone's misconceptions, it's going to absorb all our time and we have better things to do. Is that still Man and Wife that you're reading? Yeah, this is, I just finished Man and Wife and now this is the, the short stories. Ah, uh, yes, marvelous. Even though we do get so many negative reactions, we also get a lot of people who are fascinated by what we're doing. The reason that we're willing to invest the time and what money we have and the energy in it is because we really find that it's enriched our lives. It's been what we enjoy doing most together. <laughs>